Hi, Endurance Sweat here with a comprehensive guide to the Swift Minimap, which is located at the top right-hand corner of the Swift game screen. Because of its location and small size, it is underutilized, and sometimes it's just difficult to see all the detail. In this video, we'll go over all the features of the Minimap, including some not-so-obvious ones. There's a lot to cover in a short video, so hang on tight. And at the end, we'll provide a link to a one-page resource that you can download. Let's go over some basic features of the minimap. Your current location is shown by the orange arrow, and the other circle are other riders or runners on the course. Your current gradient is shown in the upper right-hand corner of the map. As the incline becomes steeper, the font size becomes larger, and the color changes from white to yellow to orange and then to red. However, the font size and color remains the same, regardless of the grade of descent. Along the bottom of the minimap is the current segment elevation profile. Take note that the longitudinal and vertical scale of the elevation profile changes depending upon the segment being shown. The orange and white circle is your current location on the segment. Caution! Take special note of the arrow within the circle. It shows the direction of travel along the elevation profile, which can change from left to right or right to left. Tricky, because the arrow can be difficult to see, even on a large flat screen TV. Underneath the elevation profile are icons, which show the start finish, sprint, and king of the mountain banner locations. The icon with the Swift Z is the course start finish line. The green icon is the sprint banner location. The red and blue checkered icons are the king of the mountain locations. Take note that the blue checkered icons are reserved for those locations in the Swift worlds that are so high up that the surroundings are always snow covered. You can change the scale of the minimap by clicking on it or tapping on it on a touchscreen device. There are three views, close up, wide, and wider yet depending on your needs. For group rides, the location of the ride leader or yellow beacon is shown by a yellow polygon. The sweep is shown by a red polygon. The sweep may be able to help you draft back to the pack if you fall behind. Ride leaders may optionally set a fence to encourage riders to stay in a tight pack. The fence is shown by a red curtain, but you will never go ahead of the red fence, will you? For workouts, Interval segments are shown as blue, green, yellow, or red curtains, depending on the intensity of the interval. And now for some lesser-known minimap clues. An orange circle is someone that you follow on Swift. And a large orange circle with a star in it is one of the favorites that you follow. If you are watching someone on Swift, they will be shown by a blue arrow on them. At the start of this video, I mentioned the one-page resource. A link to download this file is included in the video description. If you found this video helpful, then please click on the like button and consider leaving a comment. Your feedback is most appreciated. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, then subscribe to my channel Endurance Sweat by clicking on my photo. You can also click on the bell to receive a notification whenever I upload or live stream a video. In the meantime, you may want to check out my video on the Swift camera views. So long for now from Endurance Swift. Train hard and have fun.